Today, I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous geode wraparound style tumbler. If you enjoy this tutorial, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel. Check the description box below for all the discount codes I have for you. And if you are interested, I have a free Facebook group with the link in the description as well if you would like to join. Let's get started. Today we're going to be working on a 32 plump from the Tipsy Magnolia. Make sure you check the description down below as I have a discount code for you. I have sanded and painted my tumbler white and I have mixed up just a little bit of epoxy. We are going to pour on a few milliliters of that epoxy onto our tumbler and spread it out thin. Now I'm going to use the glitter color called Seductive and I'm just going to lightly sprinkle my tumbler with this glitter. I am not going to worry about full coverage. I actually want gaps in between the glitter color because we are going to do full coverage with the second color of glitter. Once you have that all tapped on and it looks beautiful, we are going to go on to our next color which is Twinkle. It is a gorgeous opal that has a purple shift and we are now going to sprinkle that on over the seductive glitter making sure it fills in all of those gaps and you have that full coverage We are going to let that glitter and epoxy layer cure for a couple hours and then we are going to take it over to our, our turner and epoxy our tumbler until smooth. We are going to use one of my brand new geode style vinyl sheets. This one is called the Unicorn Geode and you are just going to take an X-Acto knife and following kind of the pattern that is already there on the printed vi vinyl for you, you are just going to cut out the sections that you want to keep and then remove the sections that you don't. I just kind of followed the line and kind of envisioned how this would line up on my tumbler. Now I'm just going to take that pattern that we cut out and kind of line it up on my tumbler. I'm going to try to blend the seams the best I can. So I am going to just kind of eyeball where I think I can cut off a little excess. So this looks more like a seamless pattern. Once I kind of have it placed where I want it, I'm just going to take some transfer tape and place that over the design. And then I will slowly push on our geode onto our tumbler just with some pressure with the palm of your hand or you can even use a vinyl squeegee. If your design has an overlap, you are just going to lay that down. I usually just follow the line of the overlap is slightly raised, so I will just follow that and cut off the excess with an X-Acto knife. Once you have that excess taken off, we are going to take the same X-Acto knife. And as you can see here, the pattern didn't line up perfectly, which it's not going to. Um, it's not like it's a seamless pattern and cut for every different size of tumbler. So I am just going to take and cut off the excess, kind of following the line of the geode, but removing those harsh lines and making it blend together.
Now we are going to take some tacket over and over and just place a little bit in a medicine cup. And then we are going to take a small paintbrush and just paint a line around the outside edge of that final geode. Once that tacket is completely clear, it is ready to go. And you're just going to take some of this foil flake and place it on the tacket. I just like to kind of burnish it on using my finger all the way around. And then I will take a stiff bristle brush and brush off the excess. Now I have some glitter glue in this fine tipped squeeze bottle. I am just going to take that and following the pattern of the geode, I am just going to add certain sections of the glue and then I'm going to find a coordinating color to the color that I am placing the glue. So right now I am kind of covering pink sections and so I am going to take chic pink and place that over the glue and it will just give our geode a little bit of a sparkle. Now you're going to highlight another color, which I have chose kind of the gold sections of the geode pattern. And I am using a brand new barely released gold called Chapters. This was one of the glitters from my past designer box. These boxes are so much fun and the next one releases super soon. They come with three custom mixed glitters and two coordinating vinyl sheets that have never been released so you will never double up on your patterns or your glitter so i'm just going to continue to take my glue bottle and highlight those gold sections and then i will apply the glitter Now that I had those lighter pink and gold colors laid down, I really felt like I needed to add a little bit more dimension with adding a little bit darker color color of glitter. I really liked the turquoise on a few of these sections so I chose to highlight those and I am taking one of my best selling glitters called Rhinestone Cowboy and it was absolutely perfect. It just made this so appealing to the eye and took it to another level. Once you have applied all of the glitter that you would like, you're going to let those sections dry really well, and then you are going to spray seal them. Once your spray sealer is all finished, you are going to take your tumbler to your turner and add your final layers of epoxy. If you can tell right here how much more dimension I got, I have a little trick that I shared with my mentorship group. I share more of my tips and tricks over there. If you're interested, there is a link for you down in the description that gives you more details. And here is our tumbler all finished. I think she turned out beautiful. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Thanks so much for watching.